In this episode, a family's love is put to the test when a surprise marriage sparks outrage. Tune in as a sister stands up against her parents' disapproval and fights for her brother's happiness. But first, am I the butthole for being honest and telling my daughter that her wedding is a running joke of what not to do if you marry in our family friend group? Posted by Historical Safe 8579. My daughter got married about a year ago. She spent about 20k on her wedding, it was a wonderful experience for her but for all the guests it really sucked. All the money went to thanks the couple would enjoy. The reasons it sucked for the guests was due to multiple factors. The biggest ones being that guests has to buy food, drinks, and no entertainment. So people get to the wedding and the ceremony happens. Then they go put into another room after a long day of driving out, don't get any food drink. Most of them were forced to buy overpriced food since they were starving. They didn't even get any cake since the cake was a fake. Overall not a good guest experience. Afterwards it was negatively talked about and people were actually quite mad about it. My other daughter is getting married and asked for my help. Her sister offered to help and my other daughter made it clear she doesn't want her wedding to be anything like hers. My daughter asked what she meant by that and I was honest with her. That her wedding wasn't a good experience for guests and it is a running joke at this point with family friends. I thought she already knew since a lot of people hated her wedding. This caused an argument and she called me a jerk by the end. I pointed out all the issues had with her wedding and she thinks I am being cruel. Edit, the money basically went to her dress, venue and photos. I know her dress was six. The venue was pricey and she didn't get the food package. I was not part of the wedding planning I was having medical issues. Did you ever experience something similar? Feel free to share. It's unfortunate that the bride prioritized her own desires over the guest experience at her wedding, causing disappointment and negative memories for many. A comment from Contribution is C5832. Not the butthole. I'm guessing the $20,000 went to the dress, the photographer and the honeymoon? OP answered. Basically. Am I the butthole for banning my parents from a family event because they don't like my brother's wife? Posted by Icy Langonberry 8128. So my, 30-year-old female, little brother is 23. I have another brother that's 20, but this is about the 23-year-old, who I will call Blake. A few months ago Blake eloped with his girlfriend Shay, 19-year-old female. Our parents and my three sisters, Mary 22-year-old female, Bea 27-year-old female, and Sarah 25-year-old female, were livid. Like, unusually angry. I was a little confused but I spoke to him and to me it seemed like he and his girlfriend loved each other very much and just made the rash decision to elope in Vegas. We live about 3 hours from Vegas so it's a popular day trip destination so they were there for the day and eloped. Like yeah, it was a little silly but I don't understand why they're so angry about it. Blake and Shay didn't even tell anyone about their marriage until 2 months later. Blake and Shay are a very wholesome and dare I say, perfect couple. They very obviously love each other live together and split the bills, both study very good degrees and have two cats. I've always said you can't put a timeline on life if they want to do marriage earlier than usually, who cares? My parents have made a point to not invite Shay to any family events soon. They'll call up Blake and say don't bring your girlfriend, they refuse to acknowledge the marriage. Blake came the first two times they did this but left very early, and he's always politely declined all invitations since then. I've tried to tell my parents that they are pushing Blake away, and soon they can expect to never hear from him again, but they don't seem to care. They take every opportunity to insult Shay even though they used to love her before the elopement. It's my son's birthday soon and I am planning a big party. I sent the guest list and a family GC and my parents saw that Shay was invited. They demanded that she's taken off but I refused. They were acting in a way that made me suspect they were going to make a scene there so I banned them. I don't want them to isolate my younger brother, and he hasn't been to any family events since he got married besides the two he left early. They are infuriated. They are threatening to show up anyway and think I have no right to ban them for someone who isn't part of the family. My sisters and youngest brother think I am overreacting and I could have instead warned them to behave and told them they would be removed if they couldn't do so. They think the ban is nuclear. My parents are demanding an invite and an apology. Am I the butthole? It's unfortunate that the parents' anger towards their son's elopement has led them to isolate him and his wife from family events. Their insistence on excluding Shay, despite her being a loving partner to Blake, raises questions about their priorities and the health of their relationships within the family. Royal Aoki commented. Not the butthole. Your parents didn't get the memo that children grow up. They deserve to be banned and they should stay banned until they apologize and learn how to behave. It's easy for your other siblings to say you've overreacted because it's not their situation. I am sure your brother will appreciate the support. 
OP answered. I currently am the only one with kids so my parents would be pretty upset if I banned them from seeing their only grandkids. My brother definitely appreciates my support in his own way. He's usually very quiet and not that expressive, besides when he's with Shay, and he randomly texted me the other day that he wishes he invited me to the elopement. It was very touching. Check out our playlist with all our videos. You can find it in the description box below. Am I the butthole for separating my dad from his loved ones over a cancer scare? Posted by More Hedgehogs. I, 28-year-old female, am currently planning my son's first birthday party, which is set to take place next month. I am quite excited for this milestone, but when I phoned my dad, 55-year-old male, to ask if my suggested date for the party would suit him, he asked if we could have an in-person discussion. I met my dad at a cafe, and he proceeded to tell me that doctors have unfortunately found some suspicious masses which have been biopsied, but still warrant further investigation. He said that he hasn't yet told my younger sister, 19-year-old female, or grandparents, 80-year-old male and 76-year-old female, and asked me not to say anything to them until he has more information as he doesn't want to stress them. My dad said that he is letting me know now because he knows I am trying to make plans for the future, and he wants me to know that he won't always be able to give me definite answers. Now obviously I was very upset and couldn't care less about a birthday party in that moment. I told my dad I would support him through anything and to let me know if he needed something. That conversation happened last week. The day before yesterday, my husband, 30-year-old male, son and I went for dinner at my parents' place. My sister was not at the dinner. I did share with my husband what my dad had told me and at the dinner table he brought it up and asked my dad how he was feeling. My dad said that he felt strong and very quickly tried to change the topic, but my mom, 54-year-old female, asked what we were talking about. I told my mom that dad had mentioned the masses and we were anxiously awaiting news of what the next steps were. My mom asked my dad what we were talking about and eventually it came out that he never had any masses or anything sinister at all. Apparently, my dad thought it would be a good idea to come up with some medical story to get out of unwanted events, and he thought he would do a trial run with me. Needless to say, I packed my family up very quickly and went home. My mom joined us as she says she cannot face my dad right now. I told my dad that until he apologizes, I am not interested in talking to him, and any time I see him after that, I expect him to make the plans and follow through to prove that my family and I are not unwanted events. My dad has been blowing up mine and my mom's phone saying that I am taking things too seriously, I need to understand context, and I am cutting him off from his grandchild and simultaneously causing problems in his marriage by making this such a big thing. I firmly believed I was right, but now my sister is involved in telling me that I am cutting an old man off from his loved ones after one mistake and he never meant to hurt anyone. Am I being in butthole? It's concerning that a father would fabricate such a serious health issue as a way to avoid unwanted events, potentially causing significant distress and confusion for his family. The lack of transparency and honesty in this situation raises questions about trust and respect within their relationships. Robin Farmwoman commented. Holy crap. You are not the butthole. This was not just a mistake. This was a well thought out and very manipulative lie. How could he have a heart to heart with you about his supposed cancer scare? but not be capable of having a heart-to-heart -heart with you about how he felt about fulfilling family obligations. And just think, if your husband had not mentioned it at dinner, this could have gone on for quite a while. Your father is majorly the butthole in this situation, and it sounds like he's got some really weird ways of addressing his problems coping. Not sure what your mother is gonna do, but she might really want to insist that he gets therapy as part of any reconciliation that might happen. Your headline is wrong, you weren't trying to separate your father from anybody, and it wasn't an actual cancer scare. Your father wanted to take part in fewer family activities, apparently, so he made up an absolutely terrifying lie instead of dealing with his concerns in any kind of adult manner. He is the one that dropped to the bomb in the middle of the family. He can't blame you for the shrapnel wounds. OP replied to that. Thank you for your comment. I agree my headline is wrong, but it is a very strange situation to summarize in one line. I have also found it quite odd that he couldn't just say that he sometimes didn't feel like attending family events, everyone would have understood. My mom has said that she will go home after she has had some time apart and she will insist on him being checked for some kind of neurological decline or disorder, as well as talking this through with a professional. She feels that this would have inevitably have also kept her away from family events, and she doesn't appreciate being manipulated or kept in the dark. Am I the butthole for telling my son daughter-in-law that it's not my fault their wedding was upstaged by my 50th birthday party? Posted by Low Membership Owned 1699. In my social circle your 50th birthday is a huge deal. I haven't celebrated my birthday for a while. 
My last real birthday party was sweet 16. Overall, I have been saving for this party for years and all the family knows. My son and now daughter-in-law told me about a year ago that they were going to get married about a week after my birthday. I told them that it will happen after my 50th and he has been to these parties before and they are a big deal. He literally got blasted at his aunt's 50th before. I told him I am also not going to tone it down and he said he didn't care. My party has over 100 guests and had a lot of bells and whistles. My son's wedding was this weekend and both events got compared. It was basically what people were talking about. My son and daughter-in-law were cold to me during the wedding. I got a call from my son and it basically boiled down to, I need to apologize for outshining their wedding. That people were calling his event cheap and overall seemed to prefer my event. I told him I am not apologizing, that I warned him months ago and he said he was fine with the party. That it is not my fault that it was upstaged by my party. They chose the date knowing how those parties are. This started an argument and they both told me I was a huge jerk. It's unfortunate that a son and daughter-in-law would prioritize their own wedding over their mother's 50th birthday celebration, especially when they were aware of the significance of the event. Heather Anyone 1975 commented, Not the butthole but anyone who is trash-talking your son's wedding are the butthole. I am turning 50 next year and in my friend group, it's a huge milestone. We do parties, trips, we constantly talk about being able to join the Golden Girls squad. As we get older, we have few things to get excited for. 50th birthdays are a big deal. You have every right to celebrate it how and when you choose. Your son is not the butthole for hosting his wedding near your birthday. Again, he and his finance have every right to celebrate where and how they choose. But who are these ass that are going to trash talk a wedding and make your son and his wife feel bad? Heck, they just had two events with free food and booze. They should just enjoy and appreciate you all thought highly enough of them to include them in both of these wonderful milestone celebrations. Just saying zero commented. Likely not the butthole, sounds like they had all the info to see this coming and assuming you were fully supportive and celebratory about their nuptials. Unless you are not telling us everything and your party was unexpectedly wedding-ish, or oddly competitive in the way you would have anticipated and should have avoided. OP answered. It wasn't wedding-ish, I rented a really venue that has a private beach pools. Just a lot of drinking and fun. Think of a big pool party for adults. If you like this content, please consider subscribing. We post new Reddit stories every single day. Check out our playlist with all our videos. You can find it in the description box below. Have a miavelous day and see you in the next one.